Fridge means neighborhood in Arabic. These four grandmothers living in a secluded neighborhood in modern day Dubai, they've witnessed the change of uh, the United Arab Emirates from the days where it was a pearl diving hub, seeing the country becoming this metropolis. And with that comes more and more complicated issues. As big as the problems are, they always find a very simple solution. We help entrepreneurs to start from scratch, so we incubate them, we finance them. In the past 10 years, contracts worth of uh, 1 billion dirhams been spent through small medium enterprises supported by us. They are the source of innovation. They are the most flexible businesses that you can have in any economy. And they grow really fast. My name is Rashid bin Shabib. I am the co-founder of Brown Book Magazine, co-founder of Shelter, and the co-founder of Pavilion. And my name is Ahmed bin Shabib. Ditto. Is that it? Yeah. Same. We issued a newsletter, and it grew from being a newsletter to a kind of an idea of redefining the Middle East. This is the first issue we have had since our redesign. We feature four profiles of people within the region who we feel are sort of moving the creative conversation forward. To start a business in Dubai is fantastic, but there is no space where you can sit and work on your idea. Hence shelter and hence pavilion. If you have an idea, you can come in here, you can work on it, you can share your idea with these people, with the community. So this is one of the prototypes of the shelter. We had a very tiny one, and then we had this size, and then we have the big size. We came up with this idea of pavilion. We built the space, we put in the restaurant, we created an annual program of film, art, discussions, and talks. In a very short period of time, we've managed to create a very important part of the cultural scene in Dubai. There are other entrepreneurs which are international entrepreneurs or expats who have sat here and started things like Dubazil. Dubazil is an online classified service, so it's essentially, if you grew up with paper classifieds, it's that, but online. We were sleeping on a friend's couch. We just needed to, to have a service like Dubizzle that would be able to provide us places where we can find a job and find an apartment and all of that kind of stuff. We're now in 14 different countries, 22 cities. We have about 2.4, 2.5 million unique users across the region that come to our site every single month. When Yahoo first came into the region about two years ago, we had around 19 million users. We acquired a company called Mektoub. Maktoub started back in 2000. When people used to ask us what it was, we used to say, well, we're the Yahoo of the Arab world. The Middle East really is um, the fastest growing region for the internet worldwide. We have in total around 70 million people that are online today in this region. We're expecting another 50 million people to come online in the next two years. The foresight of creating the free zones, and I think Dubai was the first place regionally to do so, um, has really made the city a business hub. People who think alike want to be together. That provides them the platform that they can share ideas and partner with each other. I'm sitting here, I'm an animation company. Across the road from me is my lawyer, which is media-oriented. Next to that is my post-production house. And because it's a free zone, a lot of international companies who are very good at what they do come here and we brush shoulders with them. Dubai will always have that spark. Everyone that's here is here for a reason, and they're here to, to go after something, and they're here for some sort of ambition. The cluster formula is working. Yeah. The businesses are here, the brand agencies are here, the, the production companies are here. There is a lot of energy in the city. There is a can-do attitude. This mindset that I have a dream and I want to make it happen. Dubai has the energy and the people to make it happen.